Hello and welcome back to the Unite Pieces channel. Today we will tell you the storyline of an action crime movie called The Night Comes For Us. It tells the story of a man who defects from a criminal group called Six Seas, which is under the auspices of the Triad, because he does not want to kill a child. He must fight against the Triad and deal with people from his past. So without further ado, let's get straight to the video. The movie opens by showing a little girl who falls unconscious on a beach. After waking up from her stupor, she witnesses a group of armed men massacring the villagers, including her parents. Shortly after, a man named Ito arrived. He approached the group and was about to shoot Reina. However, Ito suddenly changed his mind and felt sorry for the child. Instead of harming Reina, he turned against his own group, as he was sick of being a killing machine for too long. The scene then shifts to a woman named Shinta in her home in Jakarta. When she wakes up and heads to the bathroom, she sees bloodstains, and is then surprised by the presence of Reina and Ido. Shinta then treats Ido's wound. She asked Ido where he had been for the past three years, as she thought he had died, hinting that they had a close relationship. Later, Ido's old friend Fatty arrives at Shinta's place, having been contacted by her. Fatty then questions why Ido defected from the Triad Gang. Fatty then questions why Ido defected from the Triad Gang for the sake of the little girl. Ito replied that if Fatty was in his position, he would have done the same thing. Fatty asked about Ito's future plans, as the Triads must have known about his betrayal and would hunt him down immediately. Ito revealed that he didn't want to involve Fatty, Shinta, and the others, now he just needed money. Ito also asked Fatty to provide a new identity for him, and Fatty agreed to this. Then, Fatty mentioned that now only a few of his friends remained, namely his cousins Vishnu and Bobby. Fatty then asked the whereabouts of Aryan to Ito, which turned out that now, Aryan had moved to Macau. The story shifts to Aryan. Aryan manages one of the nightclubs in Macau and has joined the triads. Aryan receives a report that one of the customers has assaulted a waitress. Arian then meets the customer and warns him not to make a scene. However, as they instead challenge him to a fight, Arian reluctantly serves them. After that, one of the Six Seas members named Qian Wu contacted Arian. Six Seas is an elite delegation of six mysterious men and women. This group was formed to maintain the security and order of the triads at the peak of their power. Chi and Wu then informed Arian that there was another Six Seas member who betrayed them, and that person was Ido. Chi and Wu told Arian to meet him in Jakarta. Upon arrival in Jakarta, Arian met two women named Alma and Elena who were also under the leadership of Chi and Wu. After meeting Chi and Wu, Chi and Wu told Arian that the Triads had massacred the village because they found some of the villagers had stolen small amounts of drugs from the Triads, even daring to sell them to others. Now, the Triad was worried about Reina, the daughter who managed to survive. She was a living witness to the Triad's massacre of the villagers. Therefore, Reina must be eliminated. Chi and Wu also mentioned that the Triad was planning to expand its business in Jakarta and Arian would be entrusted with the business if he agreed to join in killing Ido and Reina. Back to Ido, Bobby, in a stern manner, he recounted the moments when Arian and Ido abandoned them. One of their associates named Johan stole their money and built his own empire in a butcher shop. Ido, who needed money to escape, visited Johan at the butcher shop to collect his money. Johan had previously received information about Ido's betrayal and was tasked to inform the triads. Johan tried to grab a gun, but Ito attacked Johan first. Ito pointed a gun at Johan to demand his money. But then, Johan's men tried to attack Ito, so a fight broke out between them. With his skills, Ito managed to kill Johan's men until the police arrived. However, they were bribed by the triad to arrest Ido, so there was a shootout. In the middle of a shootout with the police, Johan tragically died. Elsewhere, Fatty's apartment was visited by a group of henchmen sent by the triads. Bobby, who learned of their arrival, told Shinta to leave immediately. 
Bobby killed several of Ito's henchmen who were in the elevator and then went to Fatty's apartment. When Bobby entered, he saw Fatty being threatened by a group of Ito's henchmen, which led to a deadly confrontation, and a bloody fight broke out between them. When Bobby and Fatty managed to slaughter them all inside the apartment, there was a sudden banging on the door. When Bobby opened it, another group of thugs came, which led to another fight. Back to Ito who woke up in the car, he attacked the police who were bribed by the triad. eliminated them and managed to escape from the police. He immediately headed to Fatty's apartment. On the other hand, Sheen Wu orders the triad to head straight to Fatty's apartment to finish off Reina and the others. They arrived at Fatty's apartment and slaughtered the thugs there, considering them useless. Suddenly Bobby told Fatty that he had had enough. Bobby then fought against Elena. Unfortunately, Bobby met his end at the hands of Elena. In the midst of this, Visnu, Fatty's cousin, also met his end when he met Alma. Fatty who witnessed the death of his cousin became very frustrated. When Alma was about to kill Fatty, Arian suddenly came and intervened, successfully paralyzing Alma. Afterwards, Fatty suspected that Arian had leaked Fatty's residence to the triad, because apart from Ido and Bobby, no one else knew his residence apart from Arian. Arian explained that he had no other choice. Fatty intended to shoot Arian at that moment, but he stopped him considering they were best friends. As Fatty left, he was riddled with bullets by the triads. However, Fatty managed to eliminate several triad members. He then told Reyna to hide because he intended to face them alone. However, in the end, Fatty met his end at the hands of the triads. After that, the triad group was suddenly showered with gunfire that resulted in their deaths. It turned out that the person responsible for this was someone known as the Operator. Not long after, Ido arrived at the scene, desperately watching the death of his friends. Then, Reina approached him, and Ido immediately took Reina away. Ido also informs Shinta and urges her to leave Jakarta. Ido then goes to Shinta's house to rest. Meanwhile, Arian meets with Chi and Wu. Elena, angry at Arian's attack on Alma, intends to attack Arian, but Chi and Wu holds her back. Chi and Wu revealed that apart from eliminating Ito and Reina, he was also targeting Fatty, Bobby, and Johan, who were known to be Arian's friends from the past. Chi and Wu gave Arian one more chance to finish off Ito and Reina. After that, Arian would replace Ito as the leader of the Six Seas group. Chi and Wu then ordered Arian to contact Ito and invite him to the Triad headquarters at the harbor. Back to Ito who was at Shinta's house, an uninvited guest arrived. It turned out to be the operator, who had come to hunt Ito down, leading to a confrontation. The operator managed to subdue Ito, but when she was about to shoot Ito, Reina begged the operator not to kill him. She asked if Ito was not a member of the Six Seas. Ito then explained that he did not join the Six Seas, he realized that he had only been a killing machine, before he finally met Reina, the little girl who gave him hope. Therefore, he chose to betray his own group and save Reina. Hearing this, the operator suddenly disappeared. On the other hand, Arian was reminiscing about his past when Ido confronted Bobby because Bobby was dealing with the triads, which would jeopardize their own group. Bobby explained that everything he was doing was to help their group financially, which was going through hard times. Because the situation made Ido and Arian join the triads to save Bobby and their group because they had dealt with the triads at the port. Later, at their old place, Arian contacted Ido and asked him to come to their former base at the port. The operator appeared before Ido once again. The operator said that he was assigned to eliminate the members of the Six Seas, but since Ido was no longer a member, he was no longer a target. The operator told Ido that at the harbor, a triad army, led by one of the Six Seas members named Qian Wu, was ready and waiting with Arian. They planned to invade Ito. Later, Ido asks the operator to protect Reina from the triad, as Ido is determined to face Arian and solve all his problems on his own. Ido arrived at the harbor, having protected himself with something hidden inside his clothes. He entered the triad headquarters and was greeted by its members. Ito was attacked by dozens of triad members. 
Meanwhile, other Triad members, including Alma and Elena, approached Reyna to kill her. However, before they could reach her, the Operator slaughtered them. The Triad group was wiped out by the Operator, leaving only Alma and Elena, and they had a bloody duel with each other. Subsequently, Alma met a violent end, leaving Elena alone. They continued to fight, and Elena eventually met her end at the hands of the Operator. Ido, after repelling the Triad members who attacked him, finally met with Arian. Arian blamed Ido for the deaths of their friends because of Ido's actions. Arian also expressed his intention to join the Six Seas to replace Ido. Ido warned Arian that the Six Seas only meant death, and Qian Wu was only using Arian. But then, Arian began an attack on Ido, and they engaged in a fierce battle. Arian seemed to have the upper hand, continuously attacking Ito. <laughs> However, in the end, Ito turned the tide. <laughs> Just as Ido was about to kill him, Ido changed his mind and decided to leave. As Ido left, Arian fired a few shots beside him. After Ido's departure, Qian Wu came and expressed his disappointment at Arian for failing to kill Ido. Arian pointed his gun at Qian Wu, but the gun ran out of bullets. Then, six of Qian Wu's henchmen came and shot Arian dead. On the other hand, the operator took Reina to the port to meet Ido. When they met, Reina showed them both their passports and then hugged Ito while crying because she didn't want to part with him anymore. However, Ito chose to kick her out and told her to leave. The next day, Reina waved goodbye to Ito. After that, Ito got into his car, while Qian Wu and his men prepared to shoot Ito. Ito then drives his car towards Qian Wu's men. And suddenly, the movie ends. What do you think of this movie? Please write your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit the like button, and support our channel by subscribing, so that we stay motivated to create more interesting content for you to enjoy. And until next time.